right, guys, it is the 4th of July. I got my red, white, and blue on, the best red, white, and blue I have. And I miss my Indians, let me tell you. I, I miss the crack of the bat and the roar of the crowd. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, stupid COVID. So we are headed out to Walmart tonight. It's actually not night yet. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> but we are headed out to Walmart because I want to buy my DVD this time instead of just renting it. Obviously, it's going to be Independence Day. We are also going to get some good and plenty tasty snacks, which is just going to be like an all-American cheeseburger. We're going to make delicious cheeseburgers on the Blackstone Grill. I am already salivating. Let's do this. construction. The good thing is I'm in a red light. By the time it turns green, all these cars up here should have moved forward enough where we're not stuck. Oh yeah, look at this sweet thing, a ninja. All right guys, I got my phantom fireworks mask on. Let's head in here and see if we can find what we need. Alright, the first thing I want to find is the Independence Day DVD. Okay, I know it's not going to be in here, but these movies are $3.74, so let's just take a look and see what they have. Ben Hall, Secondhand Lions, I didn't really care for that. Chronicles of Riddick, Distorted, I've never even heard of that, but it's got John Cusick, Cusack, Cusick in it. Batman Begins, 13 Hours, The Nut Job, that's what I'm talking about. Another nut job. Uh, let's see, what kind of awesomeness. Ooh, wee. We got Zombie Land. That's one of my favorites. Orphan Horse. Never heard of that. The Goonies! Woohoo! <laughs> I'm such a dork. What else we got over here? All right, The Strangers. Battery's not included. Oh, how cool. Sweet. I, I should get it. Hmm, maybe. Right after I said I wasn't going to get anything here. Let's see. There's another battery he's not included. Wayne's World 1 and 2. We got Shawshank. Gotta love Shawshank. If you guys haven't seen my Shawshank video, go see it. I went to the prison where it was filmed. Inception. Oh, yeah. Look, guys, we got Footloose 2 movie collection. I don't even care to see that one. Because that one's straight out of the 80s, and it's the best ever. Let's see, what else do we got here? Ooh, Tom Hanks, Sully. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Car wash. How you doing? What's this? Midway, I've never seen that one. Here we got Goosebumps. I actually watched Goosebumps 2 last night, and it was so cool. It put me straight in the mood for Halloween. Here we got a three-pack. Okay, let's keep looking. Rango. This one was okay. It wasn't the greatest one that I've ever seen it in my life. Gremlins, you gotta love Gremlins. Mogwai! <laughs> yeah, that sounded so much like him. Charlotte's Web 2-pack, that's cool. Minions, three mini movie collection. Oh, I'm dropping everything here. Hey, there's Space Jam. I could have just bought it for $3.74 instead of renting it. Holy crap. All right, let's see. We got the Great Outdoors here. It's been a long time since I've seen this one. We're going to have to do a movie night with that one. Sully, The Great Summer Camp Out. Oh, my gosh. Even though it's a kid's show, I love it. I love the idea of a great summer camp out. It's not just a regular camp out. It's a great summer camp out. <laughs> Smurfs for getting Sarah Marshall. Hmm. There's so many here, guys. What's that? Daniel Tiger. 
Tarzan. Look at this, another Space Jam. I'm not even kidding, guys. Last week when we did the Space Jam, or maybe it was two weeks ago, I looked it up to see if they had it here because I wanted to buy it, and it said they didn't have it. There's nine. That one was actually pretty cool. It's kind of creepy, but it was pretty cool. Atomic Blonde. What else do we have? Green Mile. I love that. Matilda. This one was actually pretty good. Danny DeVito is in this. Alright, let's move on from there. See if we can find what we're here for. Independence Day. Okay, it's definitely not a new movie, but you never know. Sometimes when they re-release the movies, they put them out on these racks. And right now is the time that they would re-release it. Uh, let's see. Don't see it there, although I do see T2 on 4K for only 10 bucks. Man, I got it on DVD. I don't, I don't even have it on Blu-ray, but DVD, I mean, it looks good enough for me. Here's Uncut Gems. I saw that one. That was a really good movie, actually. Downton Abbey, Watchmen. I don't really care about that. Poldark, Harley Quinn. Oh, these are just like TV series, I think. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, Ouija Shark. <laughs> Gonna need a bigger board. What the heck? Guns Akimbo with Daniel Radcliffe. I do want to see this, guys. It looks like it is so crazy. I'm not gonna buy it, but I do wanna see that. Hey, Major League, the Indians. That's what I'm talking about. I actually have a number 99 Ricky Vaughn jersey at home. But I'm a little too fat for it. Oh, you gotta love Better Off Dead. If you have not seen that, you've got to see it, guys. Where is our movie? Oh, sweet, okay, wait a minute, this is... This is the 4K one. It's only 15 bucks. It doesn't look like it has, wait a minute, okay, it includes 4K, Blu-ray, and digital. So if that's right, then this has both movies, Independence Day and Independence Day Resurgence, and it has the DVD and the 4K. My, my 4K player is in the RV, so I just have a, uh, a Blu-ray at home. I think we can do this, guys. Yeah, I think that if they were saying, if they were referring to the 4K Ultra HD as the Blu-ray, I don't think it would have the little uh, comma in there between HD and Blu-ray. So I think we're good to go with this. Sweet, only 15 bucks too. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the Jaws cover here. I don't know if that's coming through to you, but that is like, I don't know what they call it. It's like a lentrical 3D or whatever. It looks like my thumb is like in its mouth right now to me. I don't know if it looks the same to you guys, but this is 20 bucks. This is the Jaws Blu-ray and 4K. Um, man, I'd love to get that right now, but I'm just not gonna spend the money. Love Jaws. Now here's another one that's like Jaws, but I have not seen it yet. The Meg. Look at that. Spooky Sharks. Alright, well we got what we wanted, let's get out of here, go get some hamburger and stuff. They have got so many movies over here, guys. I'm gonna have to come in here and do like a separate uh, movie night video here. I think I wanna get some of this stuff too, either potato salad or macaroni salad, and I am thinking macaroni salad. Mm-hmm. I know, I'm not supposed to have carbs, but... It's Independence Day, baby, come on. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna get this one right here. That should be enough to give me some Bergs tonight and tomorrow. All right, here's pickles, but I think I already have pickles and I know I have onions at home. I don't think I want any tomatoes. I know that's blasphemy to some people when making all American cheeseburgers, but I do want some lettuce and I like the shredded lettuce. Actually have a t-shirt at home to make one but I want to see what they have here anyway holy crap guys look they have jaws <laughs> I'm not gonna wear a wife beater but look at this Smurfs oh this is cool enjoy Pepsi everywhere I love Pepsi I love coke too but I love Pepsi oh, look at the back of the jaws shirt that is pretty awesome yeah it's funny because like sometimes I love the taste of Pepsi and sometimes I love the taste of Coke. 
Now a toss up between Cherry Coke and Cherry Pepsi. Cherry Coke will win every day. All right, let's take a quick look here and see what Walmart has to offer in the fireworks department for the 4th of July. We got the Kickin' Party TNT brand fireworks pack. It's just a bunch of little snap bangs and stuff like that. Those are those bottles you pull on a string and it shoots out confetti. TNT neon sparklers. Ooh, look at that. That's some pretty cool colors there. I bet those would be awesome. Five bucks for those, and there's five of them in the pack. So you're burning a buck at a time. Here's throw down bangs. That's what we used to call them, poppets. These little things, you just take them, it's like a wadded up piece of paper with some gunpowder or whatever in it. You throw it at the ground and it just snaps. And they got a billion of these little sparklers packs. Those are the small ones that burn your fingers bad. Okay, that actually appears to be all the fireworks selection. I mean, I can understand that this is Ohio and fireworks are still illegal. That's all you're really allowed to have, but I thought maybe they would have at least some smoke bombs or something too. However, they do have all this festive American flag colored things, red, white, and blue. Glow bracelets. Look, these are glow necklaces. Holy crap, that's a big pack too. Look at this Budweiser hat. Oh my gosh. Red, white, and blue stars. Well, silver stars. Flags, banners. What the heck is this thing? Pioneer Woman beaded garland. Okay. We got tinsel garlands, beaded necklaces, grilling and chilling. <laughs> here's some more red, white, and blue t shirts. Not, oh, here's Coke. That's a girl's t shirt, but there's our little Coke. Gotta love Coke, man. Mm. And this is all charcoal and stuff. Uh, what is this? Ladder ball. Okay. Ooh, here's some pillows. Let's check these out. Stars. Birdies. Hello, birdie friends. Let's just say life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Okay. Love. Red, white, and blue. Lots of fans because it is hot up in this piece. Especially with this stupid thing on. Coolers and other picnic type stuff. Alright. We got what we need. Let's get out of here. Okay guys, so I am getting prepared to take stuff out on the front porch. What we're going to do is make our little drive-in theater right on the front porch tonight. I got my grill here. We're going to make the awesome All-American Burgers on it. I got my Blue Rhino propane tank. I got one of these handy dandy things that you usually use for like, uh, you know, cleaning supplies and stuff. I put everything in here. This is my whole home theater <laughs> for outside right there. Speakers and everything. Projector, bl uh, Blu-ray player and everything. And then what I did here on the porch, let me get this door open here. I put up my movie screen right over here so I can sit on the couch and watch the movie right here. Check this out. All you got to do... Pull the screen down. And that's what it looks like right there. The screen is a little bit close to the uh, to the couch here. Um, I think it's a little bit farther away than it actually looks in the video. But basically what I'm going to do is take this big ice cube cooler here. We're going to put this right up on the table. Push it right back there. Okay, that looks good. And then we're going to set our projector and a DVD player up right there. Run some electrical cords out here and plug it all in. It'll project it right onto the screen there, and I can kick back here eating my burgs. And I'm going to bring my uh, my grill out and put it right here so I can grill my burgers and then just kick back right there. Let me start getting this set up, and I will show you guys in a minute when it's done, and then we'll make some burgers. Oh, and unfortunately, I cannot make a t-shirt tonight because I forgot my iron in the RV, so... First, I need to prepare my burgers, because I don't live in the greatest place. I can't really set all this stuff up out on a porch and come in here and spend too much time making burgers. Something else we're going to use tonight, this awesome burger flipper. This was actually sent to me uh, by my friends in the Netherlands, Leonard and Simone. It's got this, like, cheese grater thing back here, though, so you got to be careful. I've used it before, and, I, and, you know, you go like this, and then I, like, keep flipping it with my finger, and I cut my finger but it is an awesome burger flipper and we're going to use it tonight. Okay, so we got our burger, my favorite burger mixing bowl. Let's use some onion powder, about some garlic powder, minced onion. Hmm, 
Italian seasoning? Nah. Look at this. We could put some of this in garlic parmesan popcorn seasoning. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that, but it would be tasty. And we'll get a couple of eggs here to mix in as well. A lot of times I'll use Lipton onion soup to mix in with hamburger because it just makes those burgers really, really good, but I don't have any tonight. Can't forget this stuff too. Them stupid mosquitoes come out at night. So yeah, guys, everything you just saw me pull out is what I'm going to mix into the hamburger um, to make my hamburgers. <laughs> and just minced onion, garlic powder, and onion powder, two eggs, and the ground beef itself. I'm going to mush it all together and form the hamburger patties, and that'll give it a little bit more taste than if we just simply used hamburger and that was it. All right, here's all our burger mixed up good. I'm only going to make about three of these, I think, for right now. I'm going to save the rest for later. It's just me, and three is already too many for me, but I want them. All right, guys, here's our burgers. We got one, two, and three. I'm going to take the uh, take the grill out here, get it warmed up, and then we're going to slap them burgers on and cook them up. All right, putting together my own little movie oasis over here. We got the propane hooked up. Let's get this thing lit. All right, there we go. We'll let that warm up for a few minutes here while I get the projector set up. Okay, guys. I got it all set up. Let me show you what we got here. Grill. Yeah, that's definitely warmed up enough. Ready for burgers. The screen down. And then over here, we got the projector, the DVD player, which this is actually a Samsung 3D Blu-ray player. And I've been hearing that they did some kind of a software upgrade or something. And some of these are like looping on the start menu or something. Now I haven't had mine set up to Wi-Fi. So maybe I'll be able to escape that, but there's a chance this might not work. Down here we got our movies. We got Independence with a Day 1 and 2. We got our mosquito spray. And running out of the back, I have our speakers right here. They're just pointing at me. I'm not going to have it turned up very loud because, you know, I am sitting on the front porch. <laughs> but this is how it looks at the moment. I'm going to um, get my burgers on a grill. And then we'll turn this on, we'll size it up on the screen, and we'll get the movie going. And I wish I had my tripod here, but everything is tied up with this whole move into the RV. I'm going to put just a little bit of avocado oil on here. Just give it a little bit of extra no stick. Spread that around a little bit. Start slapping our burgers on. Oh, I like that sound. Mm -mm. Mm. Listen to that sizzle, guys. Holy crap. Starting to sound all American. All right, let's get some cheese here. Mustard. Ketchup. Back in here for lettuce. I could put bacon on them. Nah. Save that bacon for breakfast. Pickles. Mm! Macaroni salad that I've already eaten half of. <laughs> and buns that my granddaughter's already, well, smashed half of. All right, let's check on our bergs. I think they're ready for a flip. Master Old Amsterdam burger flipper. Ooh. I like it. I'm already hearing some fireworks going off. This neighborhood's probably going to be crazy with fireworks tonight. All right, let's get this turned on. That light will come on in just a second. Come on now. There you go. Okay. So let's see how this looks here. I was testing it out the other day. Gotta fix the blurriness. All right, um, oh, I know what I did. I was testing it out the other night. I gotta put this out here, which will let it be at a slant, and that way it'll be easier when I'm looking up at it from here. So then I have to adjust this. Okay, guys, so there's how it looks. Hold on, let me turn the light out here. It's not quite dark enough outside yet to have the movie on, but okay, now maybe it is. Look at that. How cool is that? There's my uh, own little movie theater right there. 
Yeah. Gets just a little bit darker, and that picture will look totally awesome there. It already looks pretty good. This is going to be a fun night. Yeah, guys, I can hear fireworks going off, like, all around here. Big booms down here and pop, 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 pop out here and stuff like that. So that's probably going to be the soundtrack for the next two weeks here. I almost forgot I need to cut up an onion. That looks pretty good. All right, there we go. That ought to be tasty. Over here with everything else. I'm having a good old time out here, guys, already. Look, I got the movie on the screen behind me. I got the delicious burgers over here. I turned off this side because I really don't need it, so I just got the one side on. About to put some uh, cheese on there and build these things up. Yep, that's what I'm talking about right there. Close that and let it melt that cheese. All right, we got two buns. We got some mustard on the bottom, ketchup on the top. Should be about ready. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mmm, that smells so good. You hear those bottle rockets going off? A couple of onions. Mmm, I love onions, guys. So delicious. Right there. Right there. Our lettuce here. I love shredded lettuce. All right, we got our lettuce on there. I think that's all I have to put on them because my pickles are not sliced. They're just whole pickles, so we're going to put them on the side. Let's grab those. Mount Olive Kosher Baby Dills. A mm. couple of those suckers. Come here, you little pickle, you. One, two. Let's go for three of those. Mm. Look at that little sucker. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna get it for that. We gotta finish it off with our ma macaroni salad, our macarena salad. Macarena salad coming up. There we go, that is what I'm talking about. I am not complaining one bit about that, guys. Look at that. All American delicious 4th of July picnic food. We got Independence Day in the background here in my own little theater. Look at that. As soon as I turn out the lights, that is going to be so dope. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go eat these delicious burgers, watch that awesome movie, Guys, have a happy, happy, fun 4th of July. Don't burn anything down. I don't hear any bombs going off right now, but they are. They took a break for a minute. They're all around me.